Greetings, everyone. It's Anon2 World transmitting from my parents' basement to you. Let's talk about a few things here. Ah, Elon Musk, king of Twitter, owner of SpaceX, owner of Tesla, fear monger of immigration. Elon Musk isn't the in real life Tony Stark of our times. He's a snake oil salesman who pulled the wool over your eyes and you need to wake the fuck up. Isn't it sad that a billionaire can go look at desperate people trying to find better lives, but completely disregard them? He didn't even talk to one immigrant about their situation or what they were running away from. Big old Elon in his black 50 gallon cowboy hat walking along the border like he owns it. Like he's some kind of sheriff setting things right. Give me a fucking break. It's almost like he was live action role playing. Like Elon was just LARPing like I'm the new sheriff in town. Dude isn't even a politician. He, he can't make laws. You know, if he really wanted to help the situation out, he'd address the situation accordingly. It's not addressing the situation when you're targeting poor people who just want a better life. Mr. Rich Boy Elon got that better life, didn't he? Elon was firstly a South African citizen. And, you know, everybody knows the story about his little, you know, emerald mine that his father owned part of. Then his mother moved to Canada, where she was a Canadian citizen, and Elon was a Canadian citizen too by birthright. And then somehow, Elon found his way to the USA, where he's now a US citizen. But you see, the difference between the people on the border and Elon is, Elon's always had privilege in his life. He's always had a silver spoon in his mouth, and he's always had money to back him up. Elon never grew up poor, and the bullshit excuses that he grew up with nothing, they're easily debunked. You see, another difference is Elon's got actual freedom. Only rich people have real freedom. Elon Musk can do whatever the hell he wants. But the people at the border, they're running away from poverty, abuse. What is Elon running from? He doesn't have to run because he can buy whatever he wants. He can do whatever he wants. He can go wherever he wants, but they can't. And that's really part of the problem, isn't it? That people can't do and what they need to do to protect themselves. I see so many people saying that these, these people who are looking for a better life are criminals. They're nothing but criminals. And that's just a falsity. What most concerns me is the lack of compassion. Elon's one of those minorities. He's one of those people that really dis is against the saving of the poor. He couldn't care. If he cared, he'd be investing in making people unpoor. And when you're talking about someone who has $248 billion backing their name, you're talking about someone who's sitting on money that really is creating itself on a daily basis with interest. You want to stop, quote, illegal immigration? You want to stop people from crossing the border and breaking laws um, because they're looking to get away from toxic situations or change their life for the better? Then invest in that country's economy and make sure that those people love their country and want to build their country up. Invest in harvesting capabilities in farming. Why isn't Elon, you know, thinking about that? Except 
No, no, he's putting on a freaking cowboy hat backwards, patrolling the border like an idiot. Just because someone is rich does not make them intelligent. And almost every move I've seen Elon make just makes me think that he's just pretty much stupid. He's probably one of the dumbest people that puts himself out in public and shows how stupid he is. Think about this. Elon's father was anti-apartheid and he was very progressive. And the fucked up thing is, look at what Elon's done. Look at what he's doing with himself. He's embraced far right wing ideologies. He promotes far right wing ideas. His father's rolling in his grave. And I love all these people with like crosses in their avies and they're like, fuck the immigrants. They're all illegal. They're breaking the law. The people who pretend to be Christian only in name. And it's funny, their Messiah that they kneel to wouldn't want what they want. That dude who was nailed to the cross helped everyone. Never asked any questions about it. Just helped them. So I think it's really sad what a lot of people on this planet have turned into. Very dark, dark, soulless, putrid creatures that just couldn't give a shit about anyone else at all. It's just too funny to me that Elon's patrolling the border and he's like, oh, oh, this is a problem. Well, yeah, no shit. It's a problem, bucko. You're part of the problem. You're the reason there's scarcity. You're a very major part of the reason there's scarcity on this planet. You're literally sitting on money that's growing itself and not helping anyone. And then I see comments, well, what has Anonymous done about this? Well, obviously, maybe we should link charities so people can donate to reputable charities that are stopping, you know, um, people from starving and homeless shelters and things like that. Because it's desperately needed in this insane plutocracy that we've become a part of or evolved into. And Elon Musk really needs to understand that just because he has money doesn't mean that he sets policy. Elon, if you listen to this, I'm just going to be straight with you. You know who does the real work behind the scenes? The scientists and engineers and the employees that are building the cars. Elon, you don't do shit. As for the people at the border, why didn't you talk to them? All you could have done is say, hey, you know, why are you here? What's, what are you running away from? Ask them. But you don't care, do you? That's the point. You don't care. You are making a political point and you're making it a circus so that you get grifting points from your idiots on the right. And that's all it is. And you look like a fucking idiot doing it. But all your little fanboys kneel to you. And that's what you like, though. You like that. One thing about Elon Musk is this. He literally bought Twitter for $44 billion. Twitter's current worth is $4 billion. With that $44 billion, this dude could have easily helped every single impoverished family on this planet. And he probably would have never even missed the money. But that's greed for you. That's how greed works. Always will. 
Anyways, this is a non to world, and I don't know. I just don't know the state of the world anymore is just disgusting from what I see of it. You got these idiot billionaires running around acting like they're fucking gods, you know, pissing on poor people. It's not right. Never will be. Peace.